Thursday is my favorite day of the week because on Thursday, Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist. We all love a good story. Stories have a way of allowing us to enter into a reality that would otherwise seem distant. They have a way of bringing to life a story so that we can participate in it in a new way. And when a story is particularly good or beautiful, we love to hear it again and again and again. Think of the number of times you asked your parents or your grandparents to tell you the story of how they met. Or I can think of the number of times my students have asked to hear my vocation story. Stories can stir our hearts. Every time we go to Mass, we hear the story of the Last Supper. Father explains to us that on the night before Christ died, he took bread in his holy hands and he lifted it up to heaven and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body given up for you. And then he took the chalice in his hands and he gave thanks and he gave it to his apostles and he said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood poured out for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And we do. Every time we go to Mass, we not only hear the story of the Last Supper, but we enter into the mystery and we witness this great event where the bread and the wine that the Lord offered truly becomes his body and his blood. We stand there, we gather with the apostles around the altar to experience the Last Supper. This past year on Holy Thursday, Father explained in his homily that Christ, on the night before he died, arranged with his Father that he could remain with us always. Christ gave us this gift because he wants to be with us and he wants us to remain close to him. So how can you do this? How can you enter into and live this story? I'm going to make three suggestions. First, I encourage you to read the story of the Last Supper in the Gospels and try to imagine yourself in the scene. What would it have been like? What, what would the voice of the Lord sounded like when he spoke these words for the first time? Second, I encourage you to look at a missalette or your own missal and read carefully the words of the Eucharistic prayer so that when Father speaks these words at Mass, they echo in your heart. And then third, I encourage you to pray with sacred art. The church has given us so much beautiful art where we can actually look in, like we're looking through a window. We can look in at the Last Supper and picture ourselves there. You might even want to bring a holy card with an image of the Last Supper with you so that as you're hearing that story, you're able to enter in in a new way. In this year of the Eucharistic Revival, I pray that you will have the grace to live the mystery of the Last Supper. And I pray that through the grace of your Holy Communion, you might know more deeply Christ's presence in the Eucharist.